OK, on to the next. Um, let's have a look at uh, preferences. Now, this is a very interesting thing. The system preferences you use a lot. And there's some complexity involved in the system preferences, OK? So don't let it worry you. It's not too bad. It, it's not too good when you've got to try and log into the net using it. But when you're, let's, um, well, when you, you, you're sort of working it out so that you get your computer to work the way you want, <coughs> um, it's pretty simple. So let's have a look at appearances, first of all. You can change the appearance of your Mac. You can have the appearance to be blue or graphite. Highlight colours can be different and changed. Um, so you can experiment around with that. Don't worry about it, you know, play with it. It's all right. You can muck around with these things and return them to normal. Play scroll arrows at the top and bottom, or you can put them together. I particularly like them together at the bottom and the top. You can click, and, click in the scroll bar to jump to the next page. So, um, uh, or to jump just to here. That you need to sort of play with and see what that's like. Try that out. Use smooth scrolling, I don't worry about. Minimise when double click a window in the title bar. That means if you double click up here, the window will go away. Okay, so now I've got to go back and pull it back up again. Number of recent items in applications change. Um, you can have more or less. You can have uh, smoothing. Most of these are completely normal, so I wouldn't worry too much about changing the appearance. Dashboard and expose is interesting. Um, now, it depends on the kind of mouse you've got. If you've got a, a, a Mighty Mouse, one of the great Apple Mighty Mouses, um, this can be particularly useful. And also, if you want to use a corner of the windows and I'll give you an example of how you can do this you can let's say we say I want to see all windows when I click in the corner when I not click but move my cursor into the corner of the window now these kind of things can be extremely useful in terms of getting around your Mac with ease okay let's have a look and see what that does let's go down and open another window so we bring Safari up now we're going to move over to the to the corner and what we see I hope you can see anyway is that there are now both windows are open if you can't see it just trust me they're there um, click on the one you want and you come back to Safari let's say if I move it up again click on dashboard expose and there it is that's a fantastic and useful one play around with that. The desktop screen saver is another good one. You can change to a number of different things. It's, let's say you choose plants. You can have the uh, desktop as a plant. And that looks fantastic. I'll show you that in a minute. And that looks pretty good actually. I quite like that one. Or you can just go for black and white or abstract or solid colours. Whatever you like really. Personally I prefer a fairly straightforward one so I can see what's on the desktop but it's up to you screen savers most of the time are not a big problem these days because most of the screens are LCDs and the screen saver is not that important whereas the old uh, style of screen the screen saver was important so it didn't get burnt in it was called burning in the dock preferences we've looked at before go back to show all international um, you know, not going to make a big difference except for formats. In Australia, we've got a particular format. Choose the Australian format so that your dates turn out right. Um, and times, the, uh, the rest of it's not that important, really. Um, security, forget about that one. Spotlight, once again. Most of those, Spotlight I'll show you later, so we'll, we'll go about that in, in another time. Let's have a look and see what's happened to our screen since we've changed it. We'll get rid of um, that. Oh, look at that screen. That is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Fantastic. There we are. We've got, you go 
can't see the whole thing but if you click it on yours and play with it you will um, just one more thing on preferences which I really like particularly if you've got um, a, a Mac mouse one of the new Marty mouses and that is how you determine the mouse button so you've got keyboards don't worry about that too much that's fine as it is um, the primary button I like to be the left button and that means the first click that you make is the left secondary buttons are right okay so I've changed that to secondary that initially is primary so that means if I click on it secondary I'll end up getting the uh, um, a whole menu of things that I can do the desktop gives me the side see these side bits here that means if I click the side of the button I end up getting the desktop and that's very useful if you've got a lot of windows open and uh, if I click in the middle where the ball is I get all the windows open so I can look at, at what's open in the um, in the Mac scrolling I've got a 360 degrees don't think it makes a lot of difference there you've got a choice here vertical horizontal uh, I just leave it at 360 I tend to like the tracking to be fast the scrolling to be fast and the double click to be fast that's just my preference you try it out and see what you think so that's